All right, all right. Welcome to the cabin. This is a special episode of From the Cabin at the Collapse Experiment, where we put together everything happening over at East Palestine. We connected all the dots. Hillary Clinton, World Economic Forum, Agenda 21. How does this all work? Let me run it through you, okay? East Palestine, train derails. We don't hear about it for weeks, right? And they're like, oh, the air, the water, everything, everything's fine. Everything is just hunky-dory until they start dumping toxic waste in Michigan, Texas, right? They could do it in Ohio, but they don't. Why is that? Because Ohio has freaking cobalt. Cobalt. They found it in Pennsylvania. It's right on the border. What's on the border of Pennsylvania? East Palestine. Palestine. They changed the pronunciation recently because it sounds too Middle Eastern, even though that's why they changed it to that. They had another name before it was East Palestine, but they wanted to sound like it was from the Holy Land. Getting back to it. Why do they want cobalt? The chip factory that Joe Biden is putting in Ohio. Because China is going to freaking invade Taiwan. We're not going to have any chips. And how are we going to fight anybody if we don't have any chips? How are we going to shoot $400,000 missiles at fucking $5 balloons if we don't have chips? So there's a fucking chip factory going in. Joe Biden put it there. Pete Buttigieg is worthless. He's absolutely worthless, but he is connected because recently he was questioned by a reporter about why he hadn't gone to East Palestine. What's he going to do with regulation? Who's he going to talk to? What's he going to do? And he's like, oh, it's my personal time. Do you mind if I take a photo of you? Oh, yeah. So why is he taking photos of journalists? Because Hillary Clinton is really good at taking out fucking journalists. That's why. Don't be surprised if you hear that that journalist that was asking the questions epstein okay? I'm just saying, no, Epstein's not on the chart. Don't need Epstein because we know who freaking did that. What else did Hillary do? Let's get back to East Palestine, shall we? So we have CTEH, the company, the company that's testing the air and water. And they had this little form that they're giving to everybody at the very bottom of the form where you don't read, but you're putting your signature. It says, they're not responsible. Norfolk Southern is not responsible for the crap that is in your air and water if you find it later. So you can't sue. Who else are they responsible for? Oh, just something big like the Gulf oil spill. The ones where they're like, hey, Water's safe. You can you can go back to shrimping, Bubba Gump. You can go back to serving shrimp at the restaurants. You can do all that kind of crazy shit. Oh yeah, C T E H. Bunch of shady fuckers over here. Okay. Now what else do we have with C T E H? The Little Rock plane crash. Five people. All of them employees of this company crashed right after takeoff from what airport? The Bill and Hillary Clinton International Airport at Little Rock. The same airport that was running cocaine into the country when Bill Clinton was governor of Arkansas. Huh! So, who else is Hillary Clinton linked to? Obama, where she was Secretary of State, ran against him, said a bunch of racist shit. Michael Hastings pointed that out in his little book. But, uh, guess what? Michael Hastings isn't around anymore. Gee, I wonder who might have been involved in that. So, who does Obama have a problem with? The Amish. Where do a bunch of Amish live? East Palestine area, also Pennsylvania. So when they do a controlled release, all that acid rain rains down on their farms and does God knows what. So Obama hates the Amish. 
who doesn't like things like, oh, I don't know, the digital health tags that East Palestine rolled out? What the hell is a digital health tag? It's where you carry this little thing with a little chip on it, and they scan it with their phone, and it gives all your data to people. All of it. So they're like, hey, your health insurance doesn't cover the fact that you're having a diabetic episode. Sorry, we can't serve you. Getting back to the Amish. They didn't like the jab, right? Oh, Obama raided a couple people for selling raw milk. Heaven forbid, raw milk. Oh my gosh, like people don't know what they're buying when they go to buy it. Biden also has a problem with the Amish. Rated people at gunpoint with the FBI for processing meat in a way that they traditionally have done for hundreds of years. So Biden, Obama, the Amish, they got a problem. Norfolk Southern linked to Obama who said, hey, you got to put these new brakes on. Mm, by the way, press isn't going to bother telling you that the train over in East Palestine wouldn't have even qualified for having those new brakes because the majority of the train was not hauling dangerous flammable chemicals. So it would not have applied anyways. All of it is to just blame Trump. Who's not president? Who is? Who is? Who's president? Well, let's just face it. This guy, this guy's president. He's going through him. Hillary Clinton still just off in the distance, sneaking into, I don't know, uh, solitary confinement cells, just, oh, guess he, he should have taken his underwear. So, what was signed at the UN when Bill Clinton was president? Now, the U.S. didn't agree to it, but several other states, counties, cities, townships, all signed on to it. Agenda 21! Right here! Now, what does Agenda 21 have to do with East Palestine? Well, if you look at that nice little convenient map that's in the Agenda 21 book that's available online through the UN, you'll see that remote areas, primarily where, I don't know, white working class people live, you're not allowed to live there under Agenda 21. What's a nice, easy, convenient way of moving people out of their land? Make it contaminated. So you got the digital health tags rolling out. Oh, by the way, who likes digital health tags? The World Economic Forum. So East Palestine rolls this shit out. And then you have the, they're, they're catering to the World Economic Forum. And this is all before the train derailment. So now you have citizens that they can just digitally ID. And go ahead and, well, if I scan this, I can now put all these ailments into the computer system, and lo and behold, guess what? You can't live here anymore. Huh. So after all that, we've got the need to put a chip factory in Ohio. We have to be able to access cobalt, because who owns all the nice little, uh, the, the minerals and everything around the globe? China. Do we have the ability to get that here? Yeah, but if the land is good, is it going to be approved? Hmm. Nope. So we got to move these white folks out. We got to get rid of the white element over here so that we can get to the cobalt so we can build the chip factory for when Taiwan is invaded by China, we're able to do something. Meanwhile, they're killing the black element over here in Michigan because they're dumping all this shit in Detroit. Yeah, because they care about that black vote. In Texas, well, you know it's not going to Austin or any of the liberal cities over there. Oh, hell no. They're taking care of that shit where all the conservatives live. Meanwhile, CTEH is covering up for everybody and making sure that nobody can sue and that they're going to keep lying and saying, Everything's fine. Everything is safe. The soil is not contaminated. You know, the shit that we're moving over here? No, that's fine. And somebody was going to run their mouth about what was really happening over at CTH. And they were on that fucking plane. And 
took off from said airport. There, all the dots are connected. Keep on typing.